welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, today is Friday. Do you know where your children are? Yeah. Because Holly Berry doesn't. She has a new movie here, Dennis, this weekend called Kidnap, and she plays a mother who will stop at nothing to save a kidnapped son. Helen then lost a lot of children. She's like the worst parent ever. Yeah, she, <laughs> she lost Isaiah, and now she's losing this one, too. Right. Yeah, she lost the other one, too. Monsters Ball. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Oh, my God. I like you guys and all, but I want to hang out with Halle Berry. Yeah. yeah. And you know who got to do just that? Her oh. good friend, Andrew Freund. Okay, Halle. Uh, hold on, I have to show you something. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, Mer, take this off. <gasps> yes! What? Don't mess with mom, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess with mom. I don't want to f*** with you. I'm not lying. Like, <laughs> you're pretty badass in this thing. <laughs> Did, do you feel did you feel empowered playing this role? I felt really empowered playing this role, and the main reason is is because I felt like exactly what I get to do in this movie is what most every mom would do. Every mom, there's a hero inside of every mom. If you mess with their kids, there's a hero inside every mom. I believe it. Let me tell you something. As long as my son is in that car, I will not stop. You took the wrong kid. So do you think like, you know, let, let's go let's go back to like boomerang Halle Berry. Yeah. Till kidnap Halle Berry. But first of all, how come boomerang Halle Berry and kidnap Halle Berry look exactly the same? <laughs> Did you make a deal with the devil? Like what is that? What's oh, you're happening? So nice. <laughs> Thank you. But but I'm just curious, like, then till now, how do you think has the business changed in terms of are we seeing more women being empowered and are we embracing that and why weren't we doing that before? I think we are. I mean, you look at people like, first of all, this summer, look at the summer. Wonder Woman, Atomic Blonde, Girls Trip. These things have opened and not everybody thought they would. So I do think women are being empowered and there's no better way to empower women than going and supporting these kinds of movies. If women, if we want to see more of it, girls, we got to go. Um, but I think you got the Shonda Rhimes. You know, you have more, you have Catherine Bigelow. Like, you have more women that are actually working behind the scenes now in big, huge ways. Things are changing for women. I'm, I'm, I feel really excited. Final question. You know, you made m many movies over the years. What skill sets have you taken with you? I think what stuck with me is having um, integrity. I think it's really important when you make movies to set an example for everybody else. And it's about being professional, showing up on time, knowing your lines, like being fully prepared. I get really frustrated when I go on a movie and someone is late. They just come an hour late because they just can't roll out of bed. Or they haven't rehearsed their lines and we gotta wait till they figure it out on camera. Like, this is one of the best jobs to have. It's such a gift. And so to not show up every day and be prepared, that like eats my ass. Holly ain't no diva. <laughs> Holly ain't no diva. <laughs> Eats your ass. <laughs> that Holly Berry just said that. <laughs> Sorry, man. <Mayor. laughs>